Hi everyone, it's Paula and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. And if you're feeling extra, you can also follow me on Instagram, wherever it comes up. So I thought I'd put this video out on Boxing Day because today we can sit down and we can all talk about what was in the advent calendars. Because some of you watch on the unboxings, obviously, but some of you don't because you don't want to see what's inside the calendars and you want to enjoy it throughout December. So I thought this would be a perfect time that we can all sit down and all have a chat in the comments about what our favourite products were from the calendars. So I'm going to talk through my favourite products from the calendars that I opened and share them with you. Now these are my favourite products from products that I haven't tried before. So let's just go over that again. My favourite products out of the products I hadn't tried before from the calendars because basically if it was a favourite already I would have told you in the unboxing as I was going along. I've been opening calendars since August, August guys, and I've been trying so many since then, the ones I hadn't really tried before and these are my favourites from them so let's get straight right in. I've divided this up into makeup, bath and body, hair, and skincare. I've got a little list. A couple of favourites in each category. So we're going to start with makeup. My number one makeup item that I hadn't tried before and I absolutely loved it was the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pill Talk Matte Revolution lipstick. I have it on now and I just love it. I think it is the most natural pinky nude I like nude colours but I am much more of a pinky nude, I don't think I personally suit like a beigey nude, I just don't suit it, it doesn't suit my skin tone and this colour is just perfection, I absolutely love it. And all they brought out um, Superstar Lip which is kind of like a creamier, shinier version and I love matte lipsticks but I do prefer creamy lipsticks so I'm excited to try that. My next favourite item in makeup that I hadn't tried before well, I kind of tried, but hadn't tried this colour. It was this, and this is the NARS, uh, what are these called? Velvet Lip Glide in Burning Love. And I've already tried these before in the colour Bound, and it's quite similar to actually the Charlotte Tilbury, but um, a bit more purpley, I would say. But this is like a red, and it is just stunning. It's so creamy, like, they feel amazing on. It's quite shiny, so I don't really think it is that long lasting. I mean, I don't find a red ever really is that long lasting. I'm always kind of topping up a red. I just love the feel of it. I love the colour. So I had already sort of tried one of these before, but not this colour. So I wanted to add it into my favourites because I just think it was a really great item to get NARS in glossy box as well. I think it was really, really, really good value. So for that, it's in my top products. Getting on to bath and body. So my number one item from the bath and body was the Body Shops Milk and Honey Body Butter. I think that's what it was anyway. And I don't have it because I finished it because it was so good. And I would definitely rebuy that. I do like the, the Body Shop Body Butters. And inside the calendar you had a full size coconut one, which I don't actually love as much. And I love coconut, but the milk and honey one was just... I'm pretty sure it was milk and honey anyway. Now I don't actually have it in front of me. I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was milk and honey, but it's white and I'll pop it up here on the screen and it just was, it felt so, so good. I feel like I have quite dry skin and it just was really moisturizing. It smelled good, it sunk in well. So I would definitely 100% repurchase that. My next favorite, which you may have already guessed when I opened it in the calendar, was the Molten Brown Hand Treatment Aloe White Truffle. I had never heard of this product, I had never tried it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. I was like, I love it at first sight because it just smells so good, like, so nice. I love it, and it feels amazing on as well. Like, for someone it has really dry hands, it just feels amazing. I just thought it was such a nice hand cream, because there was a lot of hand creams in the calendars this year. There was, like, the L'Occitane, uh, which I actually was going to put in my favourites too, but I didn't because I put this one in it instead. But the Cherry Blossom hand cream from L'Occitane as well was, was up there. So, yeah. This is my favourite, and so that was obviously from the Morton Brown calendar. And then my last Bath and Body product is the Bondi Sands Tan in Dark, which was in the latest in beauty calendar. 
and I wanted to put this in here because I did really 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 like it but I wouldn't rebuy it and the reason I wouldn't rebuy it is is because I want to get the darker colour so I did really like the tan I have tried Bondi Sands before but never the dark one and it goes on really well it stays on well it fades well it's just really lovely I do like it um, the only thing is I would need a couple of layers to kind of be the colour that I want because I am just so pale. So I'm going to try the extra dark. Moving on to hair. So there wasn't many in here actually to ch choose from as much. And maybe just that I hadn't tried before, I don't know. But basically my favourite hair products was the wet brush, which I had tried before as so I snuck it in here. But it was a different colour brush and I didn't have that one. So love the wet brush it was in the latest in beauty calendar i thought this was really good it was a full-size product it's such a good brush and it was just a bit different like as i said i don't feel like there was that much hair in some of the advent calendars i opened and hair tools so i really enjoyed using that and then the last product in here is the parisine reed Perfectly Perfecting Wonder Overnight Recovery, which was in the M&S calendar. And I love this, it's a great product and I never tried it before. So basically you put it on overnight and then you wake up the next day and your hair feels super soft and you just need to shampoo your hair in the morning. So, which is really good because you don't need a conditioner because your hair feels really good already. And I quite like that because sometimes when I use conditioner, my hair is very fine so it can be quite heavy. So I quite like the idea of like kind of doing it that way and I love the design on this as well because it had like a Christmas design so they'd obviously done that ahead of time or that was a Christmas product for the M&S calendar and I just thought it was a really nice touch. I felt like it was a special type of product that they put in there um, and I really liked it, enjoyed using it. And then lastly skincare which there was so many to choose from and lots I hadn't tried so I think definitely it shows that there is so much skincare in the advent calendars. Um, obviously I tried quite a lot of it already because I am a skincare junkie but my favourite ones was the Evelyn Cleanser which was in the Beauty Expert calendar and I wasn't sure if I'd tried this or not and I still don't know but I tried it again and or tried it for the first time and I really really liked it because I'm really into cleansing my mums just now. It feels really really good, it feels moisturising, it takes off makeup well and at the moment I use the pastel and mortar cleansing balm which I love but um, I've been using the Eve Lone one a lot and it just feels really nice. I'm kind of like still using it so I'm trying to see which one I prefer still because the Eve Lone one is pretty expensive in comparison so I'm just still trying it to see which one I prefer but I do really really enjoy using it I really like it and I think it's really effective and I know so many people rave about that product so I really want to give it a really good go and test it out and see if there's actually a difference in my skin from using that to using the other one but at the moment I love it it takes off makeup well it feels good it smells nice yeah I really like it. The second product that I really liked was the Emma Hardy facial oil which was in the Look Fantastic calendar. Facial oil I hadn't tried before. I absolutely loved it. It was a little size but um, basically you can, I've added a few, what I did was I tried it on its own which was nice but I also added a few drops to my moisturiser just now that we're in winter and it was just, it's so good. I just absolutely love it. So that's another favourite. And then my last skincare favourite was the Arnold Lazo Eye Mask. I haven't tried that much from Arnold Lazo. I have tried a couple of things and they were alright. But I really like these eye masks. I just think they were very hydrating, very moisturising. It was a little bit different. I didn't see that brand in any of the other calendars this year. And for that, it made my favourites. So that was from the Look Fantastic calendar as well. So on my list, there wasn't like an overall winner of those the most products from the calendar but I was very surprised to see that I had two items of the Look Fantastic calendar because to be honest I feel like I didn't love it when I opened it and a lot of you said the same but maybe it's because I hadn't tried a lot of the products and that's why I didn't love it as much so actually I really enjoyed two of the products that were in that there was two from Ladies and Beauty as well one from Beauty Expert, one from m and and Glossy Box so sort of the calendars that I did enjoy really opening that were a bit of a mixture and yeah, that's my favourites guys. So I hope you enjoyed hearing what my favourite products from the advent calendars were. I would absolutely love to hear your favourites. So let's have a chat. 
in the comment box and let me know what your favourites from your calendars that you had were. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already. I hope you enjoy the rest of the festive period and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!